on to another episode of the Pars Roundup. Obviously, in the last kind of 24 hours, there's been a lot of, well, not a lot, just one or two, but they both came within about half an hour of each other last night, and there's still Higginbotham's future to be announced yet. But Nat Wedderburn and Joe Cardell left the club, obviously. Right. I completely understand why the players have left, the recent ones they have left, but I was really kind of, I wasn't upset, but when I seen the news come through, like the wee tweet notification, a bit of me kind of just felt a bit sad about it all, just because I really like Joe as a player, and he's given a lot to this club, and he's been a fantastic servant. I was highly advocating him coming back when just before he signed in 2015, and when he did sign, it was like, it just felt really good at the time, and obviously then went on to have a brilliant season, and... He's played his part since coming back at least and obviously he had the spell before that and since I started supporting Dunfermline, and he's been an ever present in teams really. Obviously the first time he left the club it was came out with his hands and it was mainly getting the money problems he had to leave. But this time it's kinda like he's never had the proper chance to say bye to the fans and that's the only bit that really kinda sits a bit awkward with me just because He's a modern day legend of the club and he's, as I said, such a good servant and he's probably going to go to Wraith Rovers to still live local and have a coaching badge there, well, have a coaching role there and I have no qualms with that. I really don't mind the fact that he's going to a local rival. <laughs> Here, I don't reckon why I did that there, because they're the wee team. Like, get up them. Obviously helps that they're in the league below. If he was in the same league playing for them, it wouldn't exactly feel great. But I've got no qualms on really going to them if it's to better himself and what he wants to go and do in his later career. Because obviously he is getting older now. And I can appreciate why he's chosen the place he's going to if that ends up being where he goes. Obviously... Family is very important to him. He spoke about when he went up to Ross County, he hated it because of the location. So living centrally, still keeping the same house that he has, I'm assuming. He's got a young family, so he probably won't want to uproot them again. I can see why he would take the Wraith Rovers route if that's where he's going to go. But as I said, he's been such a great servant and I really do appreciate everything that he's done. I can understand why he's left, but... I wish that there was a chance to actually pay a proper respect to him because I feel like he's done a lot for the club and he's one of those players that really did appreciate the club and loved playing for Dunfermline. He's said that on many occasions on podcasts and interviews and stuff. He's always made it clear that he loves playing for Dunfermline and I appreciate that a lot, especially in a era where a lot of players just choose to jump ship. So... Thanks for having Joe, and hopefully this isn't the last we see of yet Dunfermline perhaps come back in a coaching role in a few years' time. Who knows? The next one to depart was Nat Wedderburn, another kind of sad one to see. Wasn't obviously anywhere near as poignant as Joe's one for me, but he'd been a good little player over the last two seasons. He hasn't been good enough this season, but he was a fan's favourite. Songs about him, etc., and, of course, that doesn't equate to getting offered a deal or anything like that. But it's another one that's just a bit upsetting, really, just because it was the core of the squad that was together for the last two years. And perhaps Johnson's looking at it as they weren't good enough or whatever. I'm assuming because they went on for so long, I'm assuming he did offer Joe and Nat a contract, but... They're just not interested. Joe's obviously got his other reasons, but maybe Nat just wants a fresh start elsewhere. The squad kind of exodus for last season is a bit confusing to me, just because we finished so well at the end of the season and only finished a few points off a second place. It just seems a bit weird how it's now all came down to, like, what, four players or something signed from... The team that really kind of finished last season. We're going to need a lot of signings. And a lot of fans are really jumping on the manager's back. And I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that really until I see what the new squad, when it eventually does come, what it can do. Because, again, last summer it was all about the recruitment. And this summer the recruitment inwards has been pretty good. But 
recruitment out the way. Some of it is just a bit weird. Obviously, the players that have left for what it looks like more money, you can't really give a reason for that except from that. Like, that's not down to the manager specifically. We need to keep within our budget and we know that all too well just because of what happened only a few years ago. But it's just a shame that the squad that did so well is now not being kept together really because every player that's signed so far has mentioned that if we can keep the core of the squad together then there's no reason why we can't push even further and whilst I do agree as I said that we've signed good players, we've signed decent enough quality so far coming in and I'm sure there's still more to come, well there has to be I'm just a bit upset about the fact that that squad that did so well is now being ripped apart really and they've all went to rivals, I suppose. Some of them have obviously just been released and they've not went anywhere yet. But players like Nicky Clark, Fraser Aird, Callum Morris is linked to Dundee United, you know. Dylan McManus, Ross County. That's a quarter, a third of the squad now elsewhere in the championship. And as I said, I don't agree with slagging the manager off straight away for this because we need to see who he brings in. But some fans just are different and look at things differently and I completely understand that some fans deal with things differently, some fans just look at it in different ways and they're completely entitled to do that but in my opinion I would have really loved to see that squad at the end of the season stay more together. I agree that the squad players should have probably departed because again some of them just weren't good enough but in terms of that first team I'd hoped that we would have kept more of that squad together and mitigating circumstances for some of them but others I wish that we could have kept for longer. Here's hoping that we can bring some signings in soon though as I said because even I'm getting a bit cautious about the season coming up just because of the atmosphere and stuff it, it could really turn sour if we start losing games because some fans as I said are jumping on the manager's back so hopefully we can sign some players soon. That's it for this video guys, cheers for watching, if you enjoyed it please give it a like, subscribe for more of this type of content and just general football content over the summer and into next season and beyond. As I said, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.